One Soviet platoon of T-64 tanks is advancing on dug-in NATO positions. The T-64s will advance and reach their battle positions overlooking two towns. Once in position, two platoons of BMP-2s will advance and secure the two NATO-occupied towns. Enemy forces consist of M60 tanks and Bradley infantry fighting vehicles. Local air superiority in the area has been achieved and close air support is available to assist. Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and welcome back to Gunner Heat PC. Today we are checking out the brand new vehicle and faction that was added to GHPC, and that is the Soviets in the T-64. Probably one of my favorite Soviet vehicles, all things considered. Now, the T-64 has some trade-offs compared to its East German T-72 that's in-game. In this particular sector, the main workhorse for the Soviet Union in 1985 was the T-64. The T-64, though, does not have the laser rangefinder that we all know and love. Instead, it has a coincidence rangefinder which we can see by this split image, and I will show how that works once we actually engage a target. Now that is a drawback, but to compensate for that, we have 3BM-32 APFSDS, which is pretty much the premier Soviet ammunition at this time, capable of penetrating an Abrams at close range in the front, which uh, will certainly be quite handy. Okay, I'm going to order my platoon to get into a line formation. Please, let's spread out. And see what we are dealing with here. We need to move up to this battle position area and engage targets on objective 1 and 2. Will do. And I must say, that is an ominous sign right there. Keep scanning. Alright, everyone's in a line, good and let's stop here and see how we want to proceed. Okay, we have something spotted. M113, off in the distance. So this is where I can show off the coincidence rangefinder. The M60, the early M60 anyway, also has a coincidence rangefinder, and that is something that has been added as well. You can see that M113 pop smoke, which is not going to save him, unfortunately, toward that M113. All right, let's bring up, uh, doesn't work really well because of the smoke screen that has been deployed. Is he popping more smoke? Are you popping smoke? It looks like one of our friendlies popped smoke. Interesting. You can see the Soviet smoke is a different chemical composition. That dark black smoke. It can actually uh, block thermals. And it launches so far in front of us because it was designed to be a maneuver tool. Okay, here we go. We can see the M113 here. Let's let's adjust its range. Okay, he's dead for sure. But you can see the split image we have. I have this target range at 1,700 meters, and you can see the image is split to the right, so our range is too far. If we lined it up properly, properly, excuse me, let's see our range is about probably 200 meters or so. Now we have that locked in at 200 meters. As we close, you can see our Delta D is enabled and in the bottom left-hand corner, and we are closing 184 meters. So if the target's stationary and we range it, we won't have to rearrange it as we close in on it. The computer will adjust for us, which is pretty darn cool. Anyway, just some, uh, some tricks in the T-64. as it is the main workhorse for the Soviet forces. I have a feeling I'm gonna have to get pretty good at using all of these tools. Again, the implementation of smoke is a game changer and phenomenal. It's been a minute since I've played GHPC, but there have been a lot of improvements. You're firing? What are you shooting at? Okay, we got something out there. A couple of tanks, all right, casts. Close air support will come in on that position. We're going to move into this defilade here, and let's go ahead and launch some smoke for ourselves, please, as we move up. Now we have those smoke launchers, but we also have a smoke generator that we can use. That does not block. 
IR, though. Okay. What do I got out there? Something way over there. Nice and easy. Yep, got it. Looks like an... I can barely tell what that is. Now, you can see the split image. Ah, oh, man, it's not really working for us here. It's hard to tell. We have an aircraft. Looks like a fitter. SU-22, 17. Yeah, that's an M60 way out there. Send it. Hit him. Go left. All right, move up. More smoke. See that fitter's going in. Go get him. Launching rockets. Wow, look at that. Oh, man. That is awesome. All right. Okay, deploy smoke on those tanks so I don't roll up and get clapped immediately. All right, let's move up. Let's start fighting. Okay, we have a second tank where number one was ranged. Send it. We have heat loaded. Please load APFSDS, please. There we go, load it up properly. Good. All right, advance. Being nice and cautious here. Really just taking it all in. Okay, we're supposed to hold here. I want to get into a decent position, though. Smoke's dropping, obscuring the town for us, getting ready for our push. All right, I'm going to move my T-64s into a good position. Just up on this hill. We're supposed to cover another platoon's advance. I think they're in BMPs. Halt. Look at that smoke. Smoke effects look phenomenal. All right, shift left. I'm not sure where our friendlies are. Oh, they're coming up from behind. There they are. Hello. Okay, now we need to take control of the BMP-2s and go capture objective one and two. BMPs, hello. Okay, it looks like smoke's dropping on our position. That is probably not friendly. Okay, let's drop some artillery. Well, we'll wait for the artillery. We'll see where we need it. Looks like our tanks back there are being obscured by that smoke though, which is less than ideal. Let's switch to our main gun. And speaking of tanks, there's one way out there. Switch to the Conquerors, please. Where is it? There it is, M60. Okay, sending it. Okay, I try to hold it steady. Nice and easy, come here. Nice and easy. Looking good. Got it, I hope. I don't know. That looked devastating. It may have landed short. Yep, they bailed out. The crews bailed out of that M60. I think I see hatches open. Okay, I can barely see the tank because of all the smoke. Come here. I have no idea if that hit. Really hard to tell. Okay, go to the map. Artillery on that point right there. Send another one. Three missiles going in towards this thing. It looks like it's destroyed. Yep, it's cooking off. There we go. All right, let's roll out. Let's move, let's move, let's move. Looks like there are tanks still in that position. Aircraft. Come in, hit objective one. That's the one we're attacking. Okay, that's pretty darn close. 
Not a fan of that. Move, move, move. Artillery's dropping on our position. Okay. Willie Pete, right there, please. We'll smoke it and hopefully sneak right up on him. Okay, let's switch to our 30 millimeter gun. We are using the armor piercing belt. Good. We'll flank around the left here a little bit. Come on. Any reports? Doesn't look like it. Cass, airbound, airborne. There we go. Another Su-22. Another fitter. Okay, stop right up here. Slow up. What do I have in the town? Doesn't look like a whole lot. There we go. There's something. Range up. Switch to the HE belt. M113. It's cooking. Aircraft just dropped a bomb on something. <laughs> My gosh. <laughs> okay, advance. Switch to the AP belt now. I have no idea what's in here. Got something. What the heck is that? Is that a Brad? Oh shit, this is something shot a missile at me. Toe, 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 toe. Oh, we ate that. Okay, switch to the next BMP in the line. Come here. There's gotta be a Bradley or something. Switch to the main gun. Smoke, deploy it. Up, up, up. Whatever it is that's deploying smoke, I think I got it. Advance. Okay, lots of aircraft on objective two. Wow, that was terrifying watching that tow come right towards uh, that BMP there. Okay, stop. There he is. Load HE. Walk it up. Tow launcher on the ground. No way he's still up. I think it's disabled. It better be at this point. nightmare this is objective one right here let's roll in aircraft's moving in roll through the town roll them up there we go launching rockets into whatever the heck is over there now where'd that tow come from that's the question objective one secure gotta take objective two now it was this. There we go. None anymore. He's done. All right. We have 39 rounds of armor piercing left. Who knows how much is in objective two? Scanning. Okay. Yeah, that tow launcher is disabled. There's a truck behind me. back here. Okay. Destroyed. Alright. Time to take objective two. How many people... How many vehicles do I have? I have two in this platoon. I don't know where number two is. I guess... Yeah, there he is. Wait for him to line up on me before we push in here. 
We'll push up real slow. How about that? Nothing so far. I think we've pretty much eliminated everything in the town. Except that guy. Someone on that M113 there. Drop the range down. Bouncing around like crazy. Alright, move into the town. Get ready to secure it. Oh my gosh. Brad. I'm out of... I'm out of AP, but I think he's done. Okay, he's cooking. Phew. Scary. Alright, objective two secured. Bradley's cooking. Okay. We've taken both objectives. Wow. My goodness, what a freaking mission. That's awesome. That was a lot of fun. All the air support flying about and stuff. It was cool taking a tow right to the face. That was very brutal. Were there two Brad? There were two Bradleys in here. Interesting. All right, cool stuff. Cool mission. I'm digging the Soviets. Let's check out the after action report. Here we are with the after action report, and here is our first missile launch from the BMP. This is impressive, actually. What was the range? Almost three kilometers here with this thing. You can see how spindly and wild it is. Guide it all the way to the target. My goodness. And where exactly did it hit? Wow, right almost near the turret ring there. That is brutal. Very good hit. Have another one. This one ends up whiffing. I'm pretty sure this one whiffed because. Oh, maybe not. It just whiffed because I'm bad. This uh, this vehicle was obscured in smoke and everything too. And here we go. Here's another one fired at it. Another conquers 2.7 kilometers away. Pretty good hit there. Another miss. Another miss. This is uh, this is my just cannon just falling short i'm gonna have a lot of misses so we're gonna go back to show hits only there we go then we'll flip through and i kind of want to see the one where i just get uh i get deleted by uh <laughs> by a missile launcher okay these m113s are getting torn to shreds by our ap and here i am firing heat at all of them just keep shredding them. Ouch. That's, uh, that's kind of brutal. Sorry, Chief. That's not good. Okay. This is what I wanted to see. Okay, a tow fired, hit me, just absolutely obliterated. Every, the driver? Is the driver okay? I mean, he doesn't look good. I mean, maybe... He's having a he's having a bad time, regardless. Uh, penetrated driver's torso hit driver's neck. Never mind, the driver is dead. Uh, I think everyone inside this vehicle is is probably dead. Although it only said three crew lost. Um, I don't know. I don't know how or two crew lost. I thought is what it said, but I think they uh, I think they're all dead. Let's, let's see who shot this. This is a tow. Was it this? It was this guy. This guy with his tow and his cheeky little tow launcher here just freaking deleted me. That was brutal. Okay, well, and then I switch BMPs. I get into the second one and start engaging here. Engaging, engaging. I get my revenge on the tow relatively shortly. Here we go. Hit him. Shooting high explosive. Let's see. It penetrated the missile launcher. So that hit the missile launcher. It didn't actually hit the guy. And then the second round uh, hit the guy. And I just keep laying into it, uh, which is 
definitely unnecessary, but I did not want to eat another missile. And here's where we start hitting the Bradley. It looks like my first round start penetrating pretty good. We started hitting it in the side with a 30 millimeter cannon. At, I mean, what's the range here? 200 meters? Yeah. And we were really lucky the Bradley was just looking the opposite direction. Uh, one of these hits looked pretty critical, but we're just laying into it, tearing it up. I'm wondering, I'm still firing AP. I emptied my AP belt and then switched to HE because I was not convinced the Bradley was destroyed. It took a while for it to catch fire. But you can see how many of these rounds are stopped at this angle. Oof, that's not good. Hit ammunition feed, hit control, stopped on the turret side. And here's the HE. Yeah, I don't think any of this is gonna is doing much. Yeah, stopped, stopped. Time fuse activated. But you know what? I just kept pounding it. <laughs> I was not going to stop. And you can see we penetrated the infantry periscope. Wow, okay, cool. Regardless, this was the final thing we just lay into. Just send like 50 or so rounds into it. And there we have it. Well, I gotta say, that was quite a fun mission. I do love the BMP2. I love the IFVs and GHBC, and they are a lot of fun. Anyway, folks, I hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and comment, as it really does help out the channel. But until next time, this is Wolfpack345 signing off, and I will see you all on the next one.